Well, as part of the uh, Web2 Expo boot camp we did called Communalytics, we looked at the uh, way in which followers propagate information out on social networks like Twitter. And imagine, for example, if you have a person with nine followers. Now, you might think that person has a downstream reach of nine people. And another person with only four followers, you'd think initially, only has a reach of four people. But in fact, the people they talk to have downstream followers as well. And so a message from that initial follower can propagate out. So someone with four followers, each of whom has their own four, has a reach of 16 people, for example. Now, unfortunately, it's not that simple because a single person who has four followers you might find that those followers are only likely to retweet certain messages based on how relevant they are, based on what they think of the person. And so you have to take not only the four people that are the initial followers, but also their downstream followers times the chance that that message is going to be propagated out. This means that two different people with the same number of downstream followers, but a different level of authority or relevance to the audience are going to have a different downstream reach. Now, if you start to look at this in more detail, you'll find that this goes on and on. For example, the first four might have their own followers, who in turn have their own followers, and how much a person's message is propagated out to their network is a function not only of their downstream reach, how many followers, followers they have, and so on, but also of the amplification chance, how likely the message is to be amplified by others based on its relevance, based on the respect they have for the person they're following, and so on. Of course, there's another algorithm that looks a lot like this. It's called Google's PageRank. And when you look at what Twitter is able to do, if they measure downstream amplification, they can get very close to PageRank algorithms, which is tremendously valuable if you're an advertiser or if you want to understand the spread of a message through a community. And when Twitter put out the retweet functionality, they essentially stifled an emergent behavior in the network, which was retweeting, and replaced it with something more rigid and formalized, against which there's been a huge outcry. The reality, however, is that if you want to monetize and formalize the amplification of messages, you need to control how those messages are propagated. And if I were Twitter, one of the only reasons I would break something that, that ain't broken is if it allowed me to calculate the analytics and measure the downstream impact of messages, effectively creating page rank for humans.